Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Julia Ray. I make lifestyle and beauty videos here on my YouTube channel one to two times a week. And I'm actually very excited for today's video. So today we are talking about two products from the brand Pons. So the Pons Cold Cream Cleanser and Makeup Remover, as well as the Pons Dry Skin Cream Facial Moisturizer. So these are the original versions of both products from this brand. Okay, so I took a lot of footage over the last 10, 10 to 11 days, which I'm gonna insert kind of like as a sped up time lapse, just so you can see how I use the product day to day and kind of like how my skin changed throughout the process over the last few days or I guess like week and a half to two weeks but without beating around the bush or anything I just have to say that these products surprised and like delighted me they are I I don't know I'm gonna get into my actual thoughts after showing you guys the footage that I've already filmed um but I just am just so so surprised and happy with how well these worked for my very oily skin. So as many of you know, if you've been following my channel for a while, I have always had extremely oily skin. And I'm also told every time I get a facial <laughs> that my skin is also very dehydrated, um, which is frustrating because I just like consume so much water and I always think like that'll help and for some reason for me it doesn't really seem to do all that much for my skin it's consistently dehydrated and also very very oily that's just the way the cookie has crumbled <laughs> so just a little backstory just to kind of give you an idea as to why I even picked these up in the first place so back in December I was actually gifted like a spa voucher um, and I decided to use it uh, for a facial because at the time my skin was just the worst like the worst it's been since I don't know probably my early 20s like seven seven or eight years ago uh, I was getting my facial and I was talking to the girl who was doing it and she actually suggested that I try a cold cream um, if not all year round just in the winter months the one she recommended was the Liz Earl I forget what it was called I did look it up um, it's like the Liz Earl polishing cleanser and it's essentially a, a cold cream cleanser um, it's just really hard to get your hands on that here in Canada or at least that's what I found so in my research um, I came across Pons and I had never used Pons before um, it has very mixed reviews online people either love it or they hate it and I so far, 10 days in, I have landed firmly in the love it <laughs> column. So I think right now I'll just insert that footage that I took over the last few days showing you how I used the product, um, what my skin looked like before and after, and then, uh, yeah, I'll check back in. Okay guys, it is day one. Very oily looking. It actually looks a lot like when I apply my cleansing balm. It even feels a lot like that actually. So um, after watching and reading a few reviews, a lot of people suggested at this stage, even if you had makeup on underneath, to just kind of let it sit for five-ish minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wash my hands and then we'll tune back in and remove it together. I will say this does smell like your grandma's bathroom but not in a bad way kind of like like in a fancy way does that make sense so i'm going to take my washcloth now run it under warm to hot water and we will remove this stuff and see how it goes <laughs> So, it does still feel, like I can still feel it on my skin. I know you're supposed to, but I'm just going to go in, I'm going to re-wet my washcloth with hotter water and give it oh, another once over. From what I understand, a lot of people who are like really loyal to this product, who've been using it for years, they only use this. So they don't do any other skincare after this. They just use it to remove their makeup and 
cleanse. Some people say to do a double cleanse with it, so once you've removed your makeup, if you were wearing makeup, to go in, apply this again, let it sit again, and then remove it once more with a warm to hot wet washcloth. My skin actually feels, and maybe it's because I went in twice with the washcloth, but my skin actually feels kind of tight, which I didn't expect from this based on the reviews. So I am going to try using the Pond's Dry Skin Cream. This is the facial moisturizer. I am going to use the teeniest, tiniest amount. Normally after cleansing, I would tone apply in, uh, like my acne treatment, especially to that guy right there a serum, moisturizer, all that good stuff. For this week, all I'm gonna do is work with this guy and the cleanser. So, I'm going to take the teeniest little amount, which I'm worried is still too much, and I'm just gonna dot it where I get the most dry in the winter, which is pretty much everywhere except for my nose. Good morning guys, it is the morning of day two. I woke up maybe 10 minutes ago. I haven't washed my face yet or anything. I thought I would just show you how my skin looks. Oop. This guy actually went down a little bit. It's one of those pimples where like you know, you know it's coming. It's gonna break the surface, but it's gonna take its time. Um, so it's been getting bigger the last few days under the skin but today it's actually gone down so that's kind of abnormal for pimples like that on my skin so yeah guys it is the morning of day three this is the best light to show you guys what my skin actually looks like so um this pimple here has cleared up nicely i haven't gotten any new pimples which i was low-key worried about just because it's a very thick mineral oil based cream cleanser and moisturizer but so far so good um my skin actually feels incredibly hydrated this morning it feels really firm and plump I do have to say this part feels so lovely just like letting the pawns kind of sit on your skin for five minutes after you've massaged it in and then going in with like a hot washcloth and just kind of really gently scrubbing it off it just it's so satisfying and it's so refreshing it just feels so good maybe because it's winter too and like I wake up chilly but this feels especially nice in the morning. Like, I looked forward to doing this this morning when I woke up. So, I mean, that's saying something. Hey, guys. It is the morning of day four. Four? Four or five? I forget right now. I will put it up on the screen each day just so we can keep track together. So, I'll figure it out when I'm editing. But, um, excuse my eyebrows. They really need to be tended to. But I just have to say, this morning I was the most impressed that I've been so far, and I think it's more the moisturizer than it is the cold cream working some magic on my pores. So I've been kind of going really lightly over my T-zone, like my nose, with the moisturizer, just because I have I struggle with blackheads and large pores, and I just wasn't sure how, <laughs> um, how the cream, the night cream, sorry, how the moisturizer would do with those um but last night i was really liberal with it and i put it everywhere um and this morning i woke up and like the pores on my nose are much smaller than they normally are and that's without using any other treatment so i'm not using my normal serum or my paula's choice resist um bha serum which is normally what i use to manage my pores and i'm kind of blown away by how well that moisturizer worked on my skin good morning guys it is day five the morning of day five i've just woken up my coffee is brewing um i haven't lost lost i'm still very sleepy i have not washed my face yet so um i forgot to flip on the camera last night um but the cold cream actually did an excellent job at removing my makeup 
I have gone back to my beloved L'Oreal Voluminous at Waterproof Mascara. <coughs> this guy. Um, it did such a good job at removing this. I'm kind of blown away. And it doesn't irritate my eyes at all. And I really like got up in there to remove the mascara. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that. It worked super, super well. My skin, I think, is looking really good, considering I haven't been using any of my regular skincare the last few, well, the last four days. Today is day five, so I'm not going to continue filming morning and night for the next, like, today and tomorrow and the next day, just because, like, we've all seen it at this point, how I wash my face with the cleanser and how I apply the moisturizer and how much I use. So, yeah, I'm just going to tune back in on... Um, actually, probably the morning of day eight to show you what my skin looks like after the full seven days. So, yeah. Okay, so, I think just based on the extremely positive results I've seen so far, like over the last 10 days from using these products, um, just based on that, I really only expect my skin to continue to improve with continued use. That being said, just over the last 10 days, here are my, my findings, my thoughts basically, kind of just to sum up. So number one is that my pores just look so much tinier. Um, which is very, very exciting for me because I have enlarged pores. That's just, I have big pores. That's just my genetics. There's not a ton I can do with it um, or about it, I guess I should say, um, aside from just trying to, um, you know, keep them appearing smaller with dedicated skincare. Yeah, it's just done wonders for my pore size and that's without using any other products. So like, um, I have a whole arsenal of skincare products specifically for um, targeting my large pores and I haven't used any of them over the last 10 days and I would almost say that my pores look the same if not slightly better as when I'm using those other products so things like my Paula's Choice Resist Serum which on its own is also a wonderful product but I haven't been using that for the last 10 days and I haven't really been missing it, which for me and my very large pores is really, really saying something. So the second thing is that my skin is actually so much less oily than it ever has been before that I can remember. Um, this is the most balanced my skin has been in years, and that's after only 10 days of use. And I have to say, I don't think it has as much to do with the cold cream cleanser. I think it's mostly all because of this guy, the dry skin cream. I just apply like two peas worth of this product at night. Um, I slather it on, and then in the morning, I'm always just like very happily surprised at how good my, my pores look. I don't know why, but this dry skin cream just seems to balance out my skin so so well which actually astounded me because i have tried and spent so much money on way too much money on <laughs> so many high-end um skincare products that were supposed to give me the results that i'm currently getting with this but never did so um i'm kind of kicking myself for not trying this sooner but yeah i'm just like very surprised at how well this has balanced out my extremely oily skin so if you have oily skin and you're worried that this will just be way too heavy for you um just just use it sparingly maybe only at night and it might it might possibly work as well for you as it did for me something that i do want to mention is that the first maybe two or three three or four days that i used the dry skin cream specifically um it did feel very, very heavy, very thick on my skin and like it was sitting on top of my skin. Um, so I changed up the way I used it. I, so I just use a small, small amount and I apply it directly to damp skin, which just seems to help it smooth out easier and sink in quicker. Um, and then I'm pretty much good to go. So the third thing that I found is that my skin is just so much brighter and smoother. Um, that kind of goes along with the balanced Thing, but yeah, I just find it so bright and much much smoother um, Like I don't even wear a makeup primer the last five days I haven't worn a makeup primer which is so unlike me because 
I typically deal with a lot of texture. I'm trying to cover up my pores before I put my foundation on and I haven't needed to use it uh, since starting to use this product. So I am extremely, extremely pleased with that. So I think the reason my skin is looking brighter and smoother, it's mostly because of how you remove the cold cream cleanser. Um, you pretty much have to use it with a washcloth if you really want to get it completely off your face before moving on to moisturizer. So um, I've been using a very, very hot, wet washcloth and just use that to kind of really gently scrub it away. But doing that morning and night to remove the cleanser, I think just keeps your skin very nicely exfoliated um, and really lets whatever skincare you put on afterwards sink in and really do as much as it can. So I think, yeah, I think that's mainly why my skin is looking brighter and smoother. So I think that's where I'm gonna leave this video or this review. Um, I know I've only been using the products for 10 days, but they just kind of blew my mind. So I really wanted to make a video on it. I am gonna continue using them pretty much exclusively for the next month, I think. And then I'm gonna type up a blog post with all of my findings, my tips and tricks for using them and all that good stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. It's a kind of a different one for me. Um, if you guys have tried these products from Pons or other Pons products, because I know they have a few different um, targeted face creams. They, I know they have one specifically for like whitening or lightening dark spots, um, which I'm interested to try as well. I just haven't been able to find it yet. Uh, but yeah, if you've tried any of them, if you love any of them, if you hate any of them, I would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. But yeah, guys, that is it. That is all from me today. If you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. That would really help out my channel and if you're not already subscribed and you want to keep hanging out with me over here on my little corner of the internet just go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button so that my videos actually show up in your feed which is always helpful <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my day i hope you guys have a beautiful day and i will see you in my next video bye guys